Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Immersive Reader in Microsoft Forms. I wrote a blog post about this earlier this week, and I've had a few folks email and ask about how this works. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here's my demo Microsoft Form. It's Grateful Dead Trivia, just has one question on it. Now let's jump into the preview which is exactly how the students will see it. Now there's this tiny little menu right over here in the right hand corner of the header. And you can see I have Immersive Reader already enabled, but if you don't have it, you'll see Enable Immersive Reader. Then you'll have the Immersive Reader icon appear wherever there is text on the page. So let's go ahead and click on this. And we'll see here exactly what's going to happen. Grateful Dead Trivia Quiz. So I just read aloud Grateful Dead Trivia Quiz. Now to get to the next part of this, what I have to do is go back and read out, have it read out this part. And I'll hit the play button. One, who was the Grateful Dead's keyboardist throughout the 1980s? Five points. Jerry Garcia. Mickey Hart. Brent Midland. End of question. Close the reader to input your answer. So we'll see there, now I have to close this reader. And now I can submit the answer. Hit the submit button. And in this case here, I've already submitted it once before. So this form only allows one response per person, but you get the idea of how that works. So that's how Immersive Reader works in Microsoft Forms. It's not perfect because students do have to toggle back and forth between the Immersive Reader screen and the form itself in order to answer, but it's a lot better than the option that Google Forms has, which is no option built into it. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.